Hi, welcome to Two Comma Coffee Club. I am Valerie and my co-hosts are Lene and Michelle. So, Hi. Hey, say hey. Great to see you ladies. And um, today our special guest is Alessandra Rossi Filippi. Alessandra is a wonderful opera singer and an amazing vocal coach, not just for professional singers, but for anyone who wants to discover their true voice, their true vocal power. And uh, one of the things we're gonna be talking about that too a little bit later uh, in our chat with Alessandra, but the first thing we're gonna be talking about is manifesting a major relationship, a remarkable thing she manifested with her uh, new partner and that brought her from one side of the ocean to the other in the middle of the pandemic and Nate got her across and how all that came to be. So join me in welcoming Alessandra Rossi Filippi. Ah. Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's such a joy to be with you guys, you ladies. <laughs> um, <laughs> the work that you, you all do is just so beautiful and um, I'm so honored to be here. So thank ah. you. <laughs> thank thank you. Coming. Yeah, we're delighted you're mm. here. So, um, so Alessandra, tell us, uh, that's really the first thing I want to talk about with you sure. is, that we want to talk about is how you and your partner, and you can say, you know, if you're comfortable, say who it is, because you know, <laughs> you know and love him too, um, and what he does, and how you came to connect, and how it all, the sort of, it seems very magical, but yet we know there were, it, it was a major way of manifesting, so how Neville Goddard and our mentor played all into that. Well, I'm still blown away by the whole experience and just the, the ever unfolding. Um, so my, my boyfriend is Grant, my partner is Grant, and um, I've been in 20s group for several years um, now. And when I, when I first did Manifesting Mastery, I think it was 2017, I think one of the first things I wrote was, um, you know, I wanted to manifest a um, a marriage or partnership or, you know, whatever that, yeah, um, a, a, a partnership with someone. And I, at the time, I really, it felt really far-fetched <laughs> because I had a lot of beliefs um, that I'd rejected. I, I rejected a lot of my heart's desires. I think around relationships, I didn't feel like I could actually have what I really wanted, which was to be in partnership with someone. And um, so I had, I was, I was single for a long time and I, I never, I was, I've never been married um, before. And I, I just, there, I had a lot of um, strong attachments to what, what those, what that meant. And there felt, I felt a lot of rigidity around that. So for me, I, so for, e for me to even say that in the Manifesting Mastery course was a big deal because... Oh, can I just jump in for a second? Yeah, a sure. Thank Absolutely. You. So, so, you know, because <laughs> this is our Valentine's special show, um, that for you, when you say rigidity, I think this is really an important point. Like a, maybe like, is it like, was it like a boundary or a, tr or a trigger issue or because rigidity can come from different things. And yeah, when we want to be fluid and be yes. with the flow and all that, you know, or getting out of thinking about how we're manifesting, I, you know, that can play in. So how, how, how more, a little, it's just a little bit more specifically what you meant. <laughs> yes. Well, it's funny that, that I wasn't planning on talking about that, but I feel like it's important for people to understand that, you know, those of us who, who do manifest, we all manifest our, what we, what we, our dreams. I'm sure everyone has manifested something amazing in their life. I, I can't imagine anyone, even if they're wanting to manifest something more that they haven't already achieved something amazing. Right. Would you all agree with that? Yeah. So yes, they just don't realize yeah. it's them. It, yeah. Exactly. 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 And so, um, 
I guess just sharing that is, is I had old beliefs of, um, you know, I know, do I really want to have a partner? Do I, you know, no, I, it's so much easier being single, like men are jerks or they just want X, Y, and Z, or I'll feel suffocated. So all of those, <laughs> those, those things that I, that, um, I had to let go of, um, or just to actually, it was more like, I, I went through this explorative process of, okay, what do I actually want? And, and who am I? And, um, what does that even mean? And so, um, anyway, so this last year, I'll just say this. So I've been in the group for a while and, and um, Grant and I, I, I have known Grant through the group as a mod, um, since I first started, we actually, I reached out to him the very beginning. And at the time I was living in Germany in Berlin and he was like, wow, that's so cool so great and he started speaking some German with me which was I was very impressed I thought wow that's pretty neat so he and he's he, in California right? and he's, he's in Ca- yeah California. and he's in California and I was in Berlin and so this was going on this that was just a very quick connection that we had at the very beginning in like 2017 and um we're and then I would start asking him questions because I just noticed that he was just really really smart and knew what he was talking about around Neville and I just I like talking to him um so I didn't really think anything of it we we had some good conversations um and I enjoyed our conversation and in the meantime I was living my life in Berlin I was pretty active pretty active in the group I would say and um would connect with him every so often but nothing major and um I would notice throughout the years though we throughout the years i don't know maybe it's been three years i don't even know now it's so funny (laughs) but when you're having fun i know (laughs) i i I would always share with him oh i'm i'm you know i i meant if i imagined a trip to visit my nephew and his his wife who was having a baby in scotland and i was sharing that and so he would Mm. i would notice it like he would always like my things or like you know or love my things on Facebook or whatnot. And um, there was, so w- anyway, so we got closer and closer. And, we, and then this, uh, over a year ago, a year and a half ago, I was like, I, I started calling him. I was like, hi, let's, do you want to talk? <laughs> and so on the phone and it was just some, you know, and, and Grant is very, he's a little shy reserved, but he's, 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 I don't know, he's just the most, he's such a beautiful man. And he's has so much wisdom. And um, he's like a gold mine. You know, like, you just have to tap him. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, but, but basically, we just we just had fun talking, I enjoyed talking to him. And then um, I went through a lot of internal shifts of like, what was I going to do with my, my singing and how that was, I just, we were exploring together and noticed that um, we had so much in common regarding our professions, regarding our, our journey with Neville. And um, yeah. And then I realized that the more, well, the more we got gosh, that's so funny. I'm, I'm a little shy. I feel like I'm shy talking about this. So (laughs) <laughs> um the more we got to know each other the more I I just I was like who this this guy he's I felt him taking my hand and lifting me up and mm-hmm. and and it was just I'd never really felt that way before in such a very understated gentle way you know um you know, and it was like, I could have totally missed that had I not been in the state, you know, as we would say. So I was exploring when I was noticing how he was Mm. treating me, I was like, oh, wow, I think this is what I've been wanting, (laughs) but didn't even, didn't Mm. even know. So Alessandra, yes. So (laughs) your your state, now this is wonderful. We're all like hanging here, you know, on our, (laughs) our, 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 our,
<laughs> we do know, not want to break the spell here. But I just wanted to clarify, you know, when you say the state, just for the benefit of those who are not as experienced with Neville or come from different yes. organizations. Thank you. When when you say the state, you're you know, I what for you know, because we talk a lot about um being in the state of happy, loving wife or happy yes. you know rather because it's always about you yes so for you yes. did you give it a name did you think of it as a name yes or was it more what like when we had Anya MP on uh last week and she talked about how she manifested her incredible relationship and the way she thought about it from her state so for you what was that for me it was the one who's cherished and loved by her man so I, I would just explore, um, and you know, I, I play with happy wife, but to me that feels, um, I mean, and I, you know, I, if for me that, that title doesn't feel, feels yeah. too generic somehow. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, but, but I'm so grateful to 20 and Victoria for their example and for 20s talking about states because, Oh my gosh, I didn't know any of that before, you know, about, oh, your state and how that, I just, I didn't, I had no idea. So it was, but then once I, once I understood that it, it clicks and then it's so easy. And then you see it, it and you're like, yes. oh shit. Yeah. This is yeah. Your state. It's not me. And it's yeah. Really funny yeah. About um, what you were saying about that had you have not been in that state, you wouldn't have picked that stuff up. Now, yes, other people <laughs> that, that kind of believe in batshit crazy, they believe that they're signs, when in actual fact, you're already feeling and coming from the end of your wishful field. So they're not the yes. signs because you're already at your end. What yes. they are, you're noticing, are what we know as bridges. Yes, exactly. Yes, thank you. Thank you, ladies, for um, stating what I'm, yes, it's, it's so, it's truly amazing. And what was also fascinating was, I was like, oh my gosh, he was always there. You know, he was, <laughs> he was just, he was always there. And oh, I just see, he was it. always yeah, there yeah. from the yeah. end. Already. <laughs> An another amazing thing that we noticed was, um, I was on a call with 20, um, one of a call, like, you know, I guess in 2016, or I don't remember the year, but um, it was one of the only, I've now done DDD and been in the club and things like other things that done, but for the benefit of others. Sorry. Like, yes. Listening. That's okay. It's, it's <laughs> dream driven day, which is, yes. which is a, a major program of, of our mentor. Um, yes. Uh, 2020 and Victoria. Yes. Why. Yes. They're so beautiful. And um, so I did, um, I was on a, my first live call with them, I guess in 2016 or 17. And it's so funny because I did not, when I was on the call, I, I really didn't know what I was doing there. And it just felt so different and strange. You know, I'm a, I, as a professional opera singer, everything is very serious and um, you have to show up very professionally mm -hmm. and have an image and all this stuff. And so one of the things that's been so wonderful about the group for me too, is just really letting go of a lot of, a lot of that, if that, if that makes any sense. So, mm -hmm. but the, serious, <laughs> you know, the, the, the heavier, <laughs> more serious, just like, yeah, this is the way it is. Things. That's yeah. the meaning. That's the meaning that you've given it. Exactly. Yes. And not only that, but that could also be a different feeling and a different state. Yes. Exactly. And that's and so when I when I did this call with twenty, it was so funny because it what um after that call I was like I don't know if I want to do that again you know and then this last year, right before, so right before the pandemic is when, when Grant and I got really close, we, um, uh, I had been going through different identity shifts in a way I, I was, um, I decided right before the pandemic that, um, I wanted to teach online and, um, and then the pandemic happened and it's and become a, a, yeah, <laughs> a need. but, but during that time, I went back to listen since to that recording that I did with 20 in 2016 or whatnot. And Grant was on that, that call. And 
I realized it was the first time I'd heard his voice. And when I, when I listened to it, um, it, I was like, oh, Grant, you know, it was just like this, this gasp of like, <laughs> oh, there you are, you know? And it really, for me, that was mind blowing because it, like the past and the present and the future, they're all, we're all, it's all one, it's all the same. Right. So it's like that. I don't even know how to articulate that. Maybe you ladies could, but just that revision, it wasn't revision then, but it was, we had, our love had already been taking place Mm -hmm. even back then. And we didn't even know, well, I think he knew it, but I didn't. (laughs) So, Mm -hmm. so um, anyway, so I just think, so I just think that's really beautiful. It was more of a a deeper, because you realize you know, yeah. maybe that, maybe that, you know, of course, planted the seed and yes, exactly. his voice and, and all that that happened. So then you got yourself over from Germany. And, and- yeah. So we, um, so before the pandemic, we were both going through different changes with our, our internally with our jobs. Um, and we decided to imagine together And again, this was still like, we were still developing, well, we're always developing our friendship, but, um, but we were getting really close and we decided to imagine, and, and, um, he started to share some of his work with me and I, he had already heard me sing and all that kind of stuff, but I had never seen his work and just, I just thought, wow, you're so amazing. And um, he's, he's um, a filmmaker and a writer and he's won some incredible awards for um, major, major films. And I, I, I want to respect his privacy in a way, so um, I won't reveal everything, but, um, but, but it's just, I had never known that about him. Um, and not that that's important, but it shows more of who he is and what his passions are and just how we connect. And, um, and I, I was sharing with someone else, um, before I met Grant, there was a time like over several years ago, there was a time that I was, I was attracted to this conductor and it, um, and there was this conductor I met and um, I thought, wow, he, he's the one, he's the one. And I totally SP'd him. So as, you know, yeah. as far as, <laughs> and, and I totally, I had no idea. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm in the state of, of happy wife, but he's it, you know? <laughs> happy wife to him. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And, um, and after that, you, so I pursued it. I manifested him, you know, to like show up and, you know, pursue something with me and then when I when I got close to that when I when that was in my experience in real real life I just thought wow this is so not what I want and and that's when I actually got really I had more understanding about where 20 and Victoria were coming from and it really but what I realized from that for people that want to manifest a partner what I realized from that was it wasn't I I thought that I wanted this man because he was a conductor and I'm a soprano and we would work together and how wonderful that would be. And he's good looking and da, 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 da. And he's a leader and he's this and that, like all these different, you know, things that, that I felt were like, that's what I want. But actually what I, what I wanted was what that would give me was be partnership, you know, feeling connection with someone working with someone like now it's so amazing because Grant and I are, I'm doing this masterclass and series and he's been helping me um, market it. And we, we, you know, one of the things that we've talked about is creating business together or just, you know, my performances together, him filming me just, or, and just, just so many different things. Um, if I'm going good. all over the place, I apologize. Mm. No, <laughs> well, no, actually, um, I just I mean, and just her, rewind yes. your conversation a little bit, because when you were saying about how you um, really got fixated on the conductor, 
what it, just just so that people who are listening and watching this yes. know the difference is that you were actually fantasizing rather than feeling it real yes you Good have point. to come from the, from a state and you have to feel it real yes defining the who <laughs> yes and um, in order to manifest Best your love is that would that be right absolutely and you know I've, I've done a lot a lot of sessions throughout the years of feeling into how I want to feel you know how I want my, my family to feel with my partner, um, how I want to like how, them congratulating me, um, how I, what I want to do, the experiences that I want to have and what that gives to both of us and to other people creating legacy, you know, just, just feeling, yes, like this is, this is my person. Um, but also creating those scenes that, that 20 has shared in manifesting mastery, for example, of, um, gosh, I can't think of anything at the moment. I've done so many. Oh yes. Sh <laughs> the shadow. So one of the things that, um, when I was in Berlin, I wanted to be with Grant in California. And one of the things that, um, I, we both imagined was seeing our shadows and together, you know, and, um, so I imagine seeing our shadows at the beach, you know, or whatnot. And, um, and we did, we've done that a lot. So it's just like, <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's, um, it's amazing. And I think um, it really, for people that want to manifest a partner, it's really about, I would never, I honestly, I, I would never have known that all the things, things that I've been desiring could have manifested so naturally it's like yeah. when 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 we've gotten together um just how he treats me the things that he does for me the things that I do for him it's like I'm fulfilling his desires he's fulfilling mine just but not you know like as a checklist or trying to do it but it's just from our from our state it's like our state knows the state knows the state has the perfect plan. And I notice when I'm not in state and, and it, that's also a blessing because it's like, if, if something shows up for me and I have old insecurities, for example, because when you're in a relationship, you're, you're ever, you're always growing. You're always, hopefully like you're always, you're still you're, you're always growing. Right. And, and that's the, the beauty of relationships and old things will show up. So old insecurities can show up, even if you've mastered your state, they can still show up and that's okay. But I think, I think the key is in that is it's like, Oh, it's, it's this state. I can observe these emotions. It's not him. It's not about him. It's always about me. <laughs> you know, it's always, about my state mm. and I have quote unquote I, I can do something about that I can take yeah. charge yeah yeah that's really that's wonderful and that's very that's a very important takeaway um about that you know that these that these things will show up and I think you know a lot of times the reason that a lot of people you know there's a lot of breakups mm -hmm. and um, misunderstandings is that these things will show up but people have a lot of expectations on themselves that they should be perfect, that they should say the right thing all the time, that they should be pleasing the person. They, this, so there's so many dynamics that are going on and you and Grant have been, are, 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 have this wonderful, are using it as an opportunity to clear up a lot of those misconceptions and, and, and take it into this other place together. Yes. So. It's, it's so fun to feel like, um, you know, I can grow with someone and we can expand and we can um, just, you know, it's, it's, I, I, I love how 20 talks about um, being that couple in the cottage that blesses, you know, all the a million people. And I, 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 uh, I, I, I love that um, experience of, of that, you know, of just like being an, ex just, just, being loved that's who we all are and yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So we were about to say, you know, it's, I'm glad Michelle brought up the question, but uh, uh, where you were leaving off about Grant wanting to, you know, talk about your performances and a lot of, you know, uh, record that and helping you with your masterclass. I think we want to, in our last few minutes of our show today, want to just, just say a little bit about what it's called, what it's going to be, when it's uh -huh. going to be, so that anyone who's interested could get in touch with you about that. Well, thank you so much, ladies. I'm so, I'm so touched and honored. Um, so I'm doing this masterclass. It's a six week vocal masterclass. Um, it starts February 20th and it's um, probably two hour, around two hours each Saturday through March 27th. Um, they will be live. Those are the live calls. And right now we have um, a lot of wonderful part. Uh, I'm so excited about the people who are participating and what it is, is, Everyone has an opportunity to sing on this in this class. All the participants have their own slots um, to to perform to sing something, as well as two private sessions with me ahead of time, so that they can prepare for their time um, in the in the class when they sing. Um, and so they will sing something. You know, some people. I don't know if anyone will speak something because I'm also encouraging people. So basically what I, so what I do is I bring the techniques that I've learned as an artist, as a singer, as a, you know, human being, um, as a Neville person um, into my work. And I, it's always been my belief that there's more potential in, in people than it with the, with the voice um, than people know. And I'm, I feel like I'm proof of that because I always knew that um, I was a colorist for a soprano. And when I came up to some walls uh, or some, some internal blocks, um, I had to really do some soul searching and really claim that for myself when the outside world was saying, no, you're not. Um, and then I did discover and I went further and further with my voice. And so in, in discovering that for myself, I realized that everyone has that. And it's so fun to, I hear so many people that say, oh, I, this, I, my choir director said I couldn't sing, um, so they shut me down and all this stuff. So I, I love help bringing people out and help bringing their voices mm -hmm. out. And so this, this is a, <clears throat> a class for people to, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> yeah, to- uh, <laughs> No, I love to, that. <laughs> to just just explore yeah. and to have fun and to you know to sing in front of other people in a safe space where they'll get feedback from me but they'll also you know get to hear the support of the other participants um and then they'll get one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and and it's really fun I have a, a variety of different people different participants I have some high school students I have some some students who um, are older and who want to perform in front of audiences. And, and for me, I just, I feel like there's no limits uh, as far as potential. It's really, if you have the desire to sing, then it's your God-given right to do so. And I just, I love, I love, you know, showing, helping, it's like revealing, letting your voice reveal itself to you. So um, yeah. I love that. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so amazing. So right. let me just get this straight. There was no batshit crazy involved in manifesting your relationship or manifesting this course. There was no tarot card reading that told you it was going to happen. No. There was no bunch of crystals that you kept in a bag by your bedside. No. There was there was there were no signs. Cupid did not shoot an arrow at you. <laughs> just within my heart. Just kidding. <laughs> no, no, and no, Fra no, totally manifested it. No astrology. It wasn't in the stars. <laughs> no, no, no. This is purely down to your desires. Yes. To manifest a relationship and to manifest your successful singing career as a soprano and to yes. help others on the same path yes well in the future will you come back and give us a little little singing lesson Ooh, i would be honored to please, i would love please. that yeah. absolutely Ooh, please please, please. Yeah. i'm no Ooh, I just got nervous. i'm really up for some fun that's so exciting yeah i love it great can't mm. wait <laughs> 
So oh. <laughs> it's well, been a joy you. Yes. to oh. be on with us, Alessandra. We were, we'll be looking forward to seeing you back with us and do the Woo-hoo. lesson and talk about more things. And, Thank you so um, much for having me. Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you for sharing everything. I feel so romantic now. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't feel so nice. And I, I'm just glad it's seven o'clock at night my time so that I can continue with my work. That's, right. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just in well, total awe. You're such a lovely, lovely lady. Thank you so much for wanting oh. to join us. Thank you so much. I'm very touched and keep up the beautiful, I want to, I don't even want to say work, keep up the beautiful play Play. that you all do. Exactly. Yeah. Flow. (laughs) Yeah. It's wonderful. So thank you for letting me be a part Uh, of that today. Welcome. (laughs) Lene, where can we find (laughs) the video and stuff? So we will post this Valentine's Day special on YouTube today and as well on our podcast on Anchor. And TikTok. Yeah, wow. not and now TikTok. That's right. And we're That's so exciting. TikTok world, of course. <laughs> yeah. And feel free if you have any questions or comments, um, subscribe to our channel and you can email us at two comma coffee club at gmail.com. Thank you for joining us. The uh, two comma coffee club. Ooh, That's amazing. <laughs> Get to the intro. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Have a have a great day. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.